Australia's sovereignty now. An alternative constitutional path for Australia. Australia's sovereignty currently vests in the British monarchy, Australian Constitution, Section 0.61. Australia's reigning constitutional monarch King Charles represents Australia's past. The time is at hand for a fundamental change in the political structure of the Australia state. Should the proposed 2023 Australian Indigenous Voice referendum fail, it is highly unlikely that any further referendum, Section 128, attempt will be made in the near future to transform Australia from a constitutional monarchy into a republican model of government. Therefore, an alternative constitutional mechanism needs to be found now, not some time in the future, to take Australia forward. In 1997, the British monarchy relinquished its, 1842, executive authority over Hong Kong. An executive authority reverted to a Chinese indigenous institutional body, the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress of China, NPCSC. It is therefore open to the British monarchy, Australia's executive, to relinquish its, 1770, claim to Australia and for executive authority to revert to an Australia indigenous institutional body. A simple act of the Australian Parliament moved by a single member and supported by a majority in both houses, the House of Representatives and the Senate, passed into law by the Governor-General, as the representative of the reigning monarch of Australia, King Charles, could see this momentous change take place. What Indigenous institutional body is capable of bringing about such a significant transformation? I respectfully submit that the First Nations Uluru Statement, 2017, is a perfect catalyst, capable of bringing about long-needed fundamental change in the Australia polity. Instead of the Uluru Statement being somehow incorporated in the current Australian Constitution, the Uluru Statement should form the core of Australia's constitution and in future all authority in the Australia polity be drawn from the sovereignty of Australia's land and its indigenous peoples. All power and authority in Australia needs to be based on this historic fact, that the Australian continent has been inhabited by peoples for approximately 60,000 years, far longer than any other continuous community of peoples anywhere on earth. That all peoples who have arrived, or been born, in Australia since 1788 onwards are the inheritors of this deep history and therefore are subject to the inherent sovereignty of the Australian continent. No matter which race, or intermingling of races, all legitimacy and authority is to be found, not in some abstract concept of a foreign crown anointed by a particular god, but rather in the reality of the Australian continent which is the oldest unchanged landmass on earth. If legitimacy can come from planting a flag on a piece of land in 1770, then legitimacy can certainly come from being land that has always been and will always be. Of course, such a suggestion will be greeted with responses such as, naive, unconstitutional, outrageous, destabilizing, etc. But, the single most important issue for the Australia polity today is which institution can legitimately take over the role of executive authority from the British Crown. The Uluru Statement draws on the spiritual heritage of the Australian continent. All power stems from this source. Candidates from all over Australia can nominate to be elected to membership of the Australia Uluru, Makarata, Assembly, and it will be the Assembly that will exercise executive power within the current Australian Constitution. The Assembly will appoint the Governor-General. There need be no structural change to the Australian Constitution. With the British monarch, as was the case for Hong Kong, signing into law a bill, passed by the Australian Parliament, relinquishing executive authority to a Uluru Assembly, duly elected by the people of Australia, this country can truly emerge whole into the 21st century. Of course there will be opposition to this proposal. But Australia must act now before it is too late. China is knocking at the door and if this transformation cannot be accomplished voluntarily then the transition from British monarch to another non-indigenous executive authority may prove nothing short of traumatic. A nation based on a fiction is no community at all. A nation that takes root in the native soil on which it stands, draws upon a deep well of legitimacy capable of binding a collection of disparate peoples together into a single community, has a strong foundation. The global community, including Australia's large diaspora populations, India and China, is much more likely to support and not interfere with an Australia based on a truth than an Australia based on a blatant lie of nobody's land, terra nullius. Uluru is a potent symbol in the heart of the Australian continent which can bring all people together to make an unwavering commitment to preserve the land we all live on, everyone needs to belong somewhere. This constitutional proposal is submitted in the hope that urgent genuine discussion can take place to rebuild the political foundation of the Australia state so that it can develop into a strong confident legitimate nation with a promising vibrant future within the Asia-Pacific region. Bao Er
Bauer, Australia's Uluru Sovereignty, Ao Da Li Ya De Wu Lu Lu Zhu Quan, January 28, 2022. Available at SSRN, https colon slash slash ssrn.com slash abstract equals 4019806 Bao Dash Er, Australia's Silk Road, Constitution, Ao Da Li Ya De, Si Chu Ji Lu, Xian Fa, August 1, 2019. Available at SSRN, https colon slash slash ssrn.com slash abstract equals 346 2063.